it's at Sarah Pings here um, with a very quick little tutorial. Um, I've been collecting seeds for a while. I had these amazing acanthus come up every year, but this year was really bumper. So um, I've been saving the seed pods and then they're all dried out now. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd do some seed packets with little kind of stocking fillers. Um, so um, there's my lovely acanthus. I'm doing this as a kind of PowerPoint with images just because it's easier than filming it um, and really there's not a lot to show so pictures will I think tell the story much better. Uh, so the first thing I did was I found a little template for seed packets it's a lovely little size um, and you, I got this from uh, modishhandmade.com I'll put the link in the description box below as well um, and you cut the template out and you can see it has dotted lines for scored lines for folding um, and uh, all you need is some decorative paper and uh, a pencil uh, a rounded corner cutter if you have one it's not absolutely necessary but you know me um, scissors or uh, I actually use my rotary cutter because I cut all of them out at the same time um, and some glue and uh, one of those foldy jiggly things for um, scoring lines so without much more ado let's get on first thing you do is you um, I find it much easier to trace around the template and then cut it out um, be aware that this part here this is the top flap so if you're using a directional paper make sure um, that it's the right way up for the top flap so that when you turn it over uh, the front of the seed packet is the right way up. I learned this by uh, not remembering myself on the first thing I did as a trial. Um, so all you've got to do is cut out your template. I don't bother to put the score lines in because I think it's pretty obvious where they are. You can always look in the template to see where they are. Um, but I just cut it out. Um, I've just flipped it over to show that I'm using coloured paper. Um, and then you need to score your lines. If you're using really cheap and cheerful paper like I was, um, be careful you don't go too exuberant when you score the lines because it can ruck the paper up. Um, if, it's, if it's really soft paper, it can tear a bit, which is not desirable. Anyway, so score your folding lines and then fold them in. Basically, um, this here is the back. Uh, these are the, this is the side flap. This is the top flap and this is the bottom. And this here on the other side will be the front of the seed packet. Then you can um, round your corners if you so desire. Sorry about the nail varnish. That's my stubborn day again. Um, but anyway, there we go. Uh, round your corners if you want to. And then the first thing you need to do is glue the side piece here. Um, on this one, I didn't round my corners on here. I, on the other ones, I rounded all of the edges. But I didn't bother on this one. Uh, I left the side um, straight. So you glue that one, and then you're going to glue the bottom one uh, here, like this. I suppose it didn't quite match and match it, but I was just doing this one really quickly to look as a kind of display. Um, but don't put any glue on this top flap, because that just tucks in um, to your seat packet. Um, so here are my finished ones that I did today. I, I found some also some really pretty little, uh, these are two from gift tags actually. Um, if I can remember where I found them, I'll put the link down below. Um, and I've put in um, some really cheap and cheerful seeds from the pound store. Things like spring onions and radishes and plum tomatoes. And then my agapanthus and also some peony seeds that I've been hoarding for ages from my grandfather's garden um, where my sister-in-law now lives. So I went well, last time I was there, I popped some seeds into my pocket and I've been holding on to them because they're really magnificent plants. Now, both in on the green fingers note, um, both agapanthus and peonies will probably take about a gazillion years to flower. But they're good stock which is why I thought it would be a nice idea to share the love. Um, so there it is. I also bought some of those little um, stake things that you put in the ground and write with um, a white marker or with a white timeograph pencil. Um, 
So I bought some of those uh, made out of slate, and I'm going to pop them in uh, and it's a sort of more substantial packet. That way you could buy some gardening gloves, something like that. So it just makes a really nice little present. Um, as I said, you don't have to have your own seeds. You can just go to your pound store uh, and just, if I just go back here, just go to your pound store and buy these packets of, they've got everything there. I mean, I think this one was six packets for a pound. Um, don't, they come in little foil packages. Um, I actually took them out of them and then put them into tiny little envelopes that I made to put in the seed packets because obviously things like spring onion and radish seeds and tomato seeds, they're really, really tiny, so you don't want them to fall out. So I put them into another little package um, inside the seed packet. So there we go. Uh, really, really easy, really quick. Uh, you can spend hours on them or you can spend very little time on them. Um, but I think it's a magnificently easy and rather attractive little present. So I hope that helps. Hope you're full of festive cheer and I will see you all soon. Thank you. Bye.